Hello guys, Mojamont here, and I haven't made a tutorial for a while, I've just been doing quite a few projects lately, so I thought I'd upload a tutorial, and it's a very simple but really effective tutorial for some of those, for some of you people that might have After Effects but haven't yet got um, the No Light Factory, which is like the, um, the like lens flares. So I'm going to show you how to do the lens flares in Cinema 4D, which is very, very easy. So I'm just going to um, show you an example. Um, I'll use this one. I've just rendered this, haven't used this in YouTube yet. So... As you can see, and then there you go, there's the lens flare. See, it just brightens up right at the end. See, it brightens up like a star, and then they just overlap the screen, and it's nice. <coughs> it's a nice end. And I think I used it on this one as well, I don't know. I think I did. Nope. Oh, it's not. So, you get the idea. Lens flare, Cinema 4D. So, um, what you want to do, open Cinema 4D, you know, render settings. And then, um, let me just add ambient inclusion. And then you want to um, set up your basic scene. I'm going to use a thing called CS Tools, which is a really good program. Well, not program, it's like a set of um, set of C4D files. And as you can see, I've just this is the only thing I've got. And if I just add a floor. looks like a really nice effect in its um, endless floor as well which is really good so um, so you just want to set up basic scene I'm just going to have some text going on you know Oops. I'll just call it and then I'll just have pixie depth and then middle and I use my font that I always use which is ethnocentric if you want it it's really really good um, font looks really cool so if I just run about now um, I'll just make a material, quickly make a material, yellow green one I'll do, turn off specular, you always want to do that, it just ruins your material if you're doing it for text. Luminance page channel and there you go, really nice effect. Um, I won't add any reflection. Not really any point. So if I just render that now, nice kind of luminance text. So now what you want to do is you want to add a light. This is what's going to be a lens flare. You don't need any pl plugins or anything. So you just want to put it somewhere, I'll just put it about middle of your screen, so it's in the middle. And then you want to go to, in your, like, click on your light, and here you see lens. Click on that, and then any of these, every single one's a lens flare. 
but some of them are really terrible because that I mean that is just a cover in the back it doesn't it's an okay effect but it's not the best so you can see like what it will look like in the corner I like the blue ones to be honest they look the best and flashlight is good as well that's a really good one so um I'll just use um what one should I use yeah, I'll use that one so what you want to do is say if you want at the end so I'll just put my keep my frames at 90 just for the sake of this tutorial so you want to put the brightness to zero and then um, put the scale to 1000 so you hold up the brightness now it's good because then it fills up your whole screen so you want to put the brightness all the way up so you just want to control and then click on the brightness move to about 8 frames then move that one and then control click Oh no, you don't want to do that, sorry. Um, we'll go to about 75. Control click. And then 1000. Then control click again. So now, if I just play it, you won't see anything on the screen, but it will show, it will show up. See there, it's like that, so I'll render it now. There you go, see it's like covering up the screen so it gives it a really nice effect without going all the way into After Effects and getting the um, Nar Light Factory. And to be honest, it just saves a hell lot of time and money, I suppose. So, um, yeah, and um, that's it. And if you want CS Tools, I'll have a link in the description. And all you want to do is just put it somewhere in your um, content browser like I've just added it to my favourites so I can just double click on this and it will take me straight to it there's a lot of cool things like daylight which is quite cool but it really 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 bright and the shadows are really big on it so but it, it gives you a really really nice effect so <coughs> That's the tutorial guys, um, thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my other videos, and you know, hope this helps, and see ya.